Tattoos have become a wildly popular form of self-expression and body art today, but they have a long and storied history spanning thousands of years. Though it's impossible to pinpoint exactly when and where tattooing first emerged, archaeological evidence shows it was practiced in ancient cultures across the globe. Our story begins during the Upper Paleolithic period from around 40,000 BC to 10,000 BC. Otzi the Iceman, a 5,300-year-old mummified body discovered in the Otztal Alps, bears the oldest known tattooed human skin. He has over 60 tattoos consisting of dots and lines made from carbon ink that were possibly used for therapeutic or ceremonial purposes. Other prehistoric evidence of tattooing traditions has been found in mummies and figurines of ancient Egypt, China, Polynesia, and the pre-Columbian Americas. In Egypt, tattoos adorned female dancers and priestesses of the cult of the goddess Hathor as early as 4000 to 3500 BC. The earliest known figural tattoos from Egypt depict the god Bees, a deity worshipped as a protector of households. In 2016, infrared imaging revealed the oldest surviving tattoos depicting an S and X shapes on two ancient Egyptian mummies from between 3351 and 3017 BC. Meanwhile in China, small decorative tattoos were identified on the Divine Maiden of Amniotic Fluid Mummy from around 2100 BC. Textual records also describe how Chinese emperors would have slaves and criminals tattooed as a form of punishment. Moving to the South Pacific, native peoples of Polynesian islands like Samoa, Tonga, and New Zealand practiced an ancient tattoo art called tatao. Sharp tools made of bone, shells, shark teeth, and wood were used to hand tap designs into the skin. These permanent body markings held deep cultural and spiritual meaning. Indigenous cultures of North and South America also have a long history of tattooing. From animal-inspired motifs to symbols of status, protection, and connection to the gods, tribes like the Maori and Aztec used tattoos to indicate one's identity, rank, and achievements. Purposes ranged from decorative to spiritual across ancient Mayan, Inca, and Native American cultures. Spanish accounts from the 16th century describe how both men and women proudly wore these permanent insignias. Now journeying across the seas to Japan, decorative tattooing traditions date back as far as 5000 BC. The earliest record of Japanese tattooing tradition came from Chinese dynastic histories, referencing tattoos as a form of punishment for criminals. Around 297 AD, Japanese visitors to China were described with tattoos, which scholars believe had religious meaning. By 720 AD, there are written records of decorative tattooing becoming fashionable among the wealthy elite like the Empress Komyo, who had tattoos of cherry blossoms. Over time, these ornate status symbols evolved into a tattooing tradition called Irizumi that was intertwined with the Japanese criminal underworld and the Yakuza. Switching gears to the Mediterranean, tattoos first emerged in ancient Greece and Rome primarily as identifiers for prisoners, criminals, and slaves. The Greeks marked enslaved individuals imported from Thrace, while Romans marked slaves, convicts, and gladiators alike. The Latin word stigma, meaning mark or brand, is telling of the disgrace associated with tattoos at that time. This began to change as Roman soldiers encountered the art form through their conquests and began adopting foreign customs. By the 4th century AD, the Roman Emperor Constantine banned the facial branding of convicts in favor of tattooing, ushering in the use of tattooing as a form of judicial punishment that continued through the Byzantine Empire. Scholars believe Constantine chose this form of bodily punishment, because unlike brands, tattoos cannot be erased and permanently label the bearer. Leaping ahead to the Middle Ages, tattooing remained a mark of criminality in Europe. However, returning crusaders began influencing interest in the practice. The mainstream association of tattoos with societal outcasts and deviants continued, however, through the Edwardian era and into the 19th century alongside freak show carnivals featuring tattooed attractions. Nevertheless, European interest in tattoo art was stirred by the intricate designs observed on indigenous peoples from voyages of global exploration. This fascination turned into a tattoo craze in high society exemplified by British royalty, including Edward VII and his son George V, who wore family crests and coats of arms inked on their bodies. By the late 1800s, advancements in tattooing tools and techniques allowed for vibrant, colorful designs. 
prolific tattoo artists like Gus Wagner, Charlie Wagner, and Samuel O'Reilly patented new electric tattooing machines that revolutionized the practice and made it more accessible. Tattooing in North America also has origins as a tribal tradition among indigenous cultures like the Native Americans and Inuit. But once again, beginning in the 1700s, European settlers turned the art form into punitive markings forced upon convicts, enslaved people, and those confined in penitentiaries or mental institutions. As colonialism expanded, these unwilling subjects bore their criminal or slave status with tattooed marks. But all that changed when Samuel O'Reilly patented the first electric rotary tattoo machine in 1891. His invention revolutionized precision, speed, and efficiency turning the painstaking art into a viable business. Tattoo parlors soon dotted American port cities, servicing sailors inspired by the native tribal designs they saw in their travels. Over just decades, tattooing transformed from a reviled activity to mainstream trend in the Western world. As the machines got smaller and more transportable, early 20th century circus performers and carnival attractions capitalized on public curiosity and desire for tattoos. Technology steadily improved, allowing artists to create incredibly intricate designs in vibrant colors. Tattooing became a symbol of self-expression, rebellion, and edginess. Now let's focus on one key driver in the tattoo renaissance, the American serviceman. As soldiers shipped out from World War II to Vietnam, tattoos like anchors, pinup girls, hearts, and military insignias became symbols of patriotic duty, courage, rebellion, and even romance. Tattoos helped bond soldiers to their units and tell their war stories. When these tattooed soldiers returned home after World War II, they brought their inked souvenirs of their service with pride. Tattoos became even more normalized as popular and iconic American images. Improvements in technique and colors accelerated the artistry. Bold stylistic designs from artists like Norman Keith Collins captured imaginations. And of course, no history of tattooing in America is complete without mention of the legendary artist Amon Dietzel, who you probably know as Sailor Jerry. Setting up shop in Honolulu's Red Light District in the 1930s, Sailor Jerry customized his electric tattoo machine, which allowed more precision and vibrancy than ever before. His shop became renowned in tattoo culture, attracting clients like World War II soldiers, sailors, and Marines who proudly wore his iconic eagle, American flag, and sailor motifs. Sailor Jerry's name became synonymous with quintessential old-school American tattooing, inspiring artists around the world with his style decades after his death in 1973. Now we fast forward to the cultural revolution of the 1960s and 70s, when tattoos broke away from military and counterculture associations into the mainstream. As artists experimented with photorealism, Asian aesthetic influences, and new vibrant inks and styles, tattoos were reclaimed as a valid art form and for self-expression rather than stigma. Celebrities began sporting ink, musicians like Janis Joplin and The Doors set trends. Reality talent competitions like Ink Masters with their riveting showcases of creativity transformed perceptions and pushed technical possibilities. Now in the 2000s, tattoos are everywhere spanning subcultures to high fashion runways and professional sports. Nearly four in 10 millennials have at least one tattoo according to Pew Research. They are self-expression, wearable art. From ancient beginnings as tribal insignia, punitive marks and identifiers of social status, the ever-evolving history of tattooing is a compelling story that runs parallel to the growth of civilizations and cross-cultural collisions throughout human history. Those permanent marks that carried stigma and taboo for so long are now modern emblems of personal identity, belonging, and artistic innovation that anyone can wear proudly. Who knows what the next chapter of human creativity in this enduring art form will bring? Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching History Reforged.